disable the facility. We need to stop the gun from shooting people down that come to help us. So let's go ahead and do that. I just push this button and that's all that happens, right? Right? I push this button. Everything's fine. Oh! It caught my hand! And then we have a weird tentacle mechanical snake. And it stabs me! There was easier ways to take my blood, dude. Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we are diving back into Subnautica. As you can see, we are right where we left off. The sunbeam just exploded real bad. This thing here shot at it. It went kablam. It's some bad stuff. So our computer, our computer went ahead and let us know that there are two ways to get deeper into the facility. Number one, we need another purple artifact, which we do not have because that stuff is expensive. The second way is that there is in fact a moon pool that we can reach. Oh, thank you, I can report bugs. Excellent, thank you for letting me know. So we're gonna take our amazing Beastador Cyclops here, and we're gonna go ahead and go for a little underwater trip. Alrighty then, also, what are all these little bits and pieces here? Are these things I can pick up? Reginald, actually I need more of you for my tank. Come here, yes. What are you? Bup, 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 bup. Gold, that's it, really? Nothing cool? What about diamonds? Bup, 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 bup. Nope, just gold. What the hell? Oh, peeper. Peeper juice, that's right. That's a thing that happens. I'm getting distracted. Let's go ahead and go find something cool. Let's go ahead and go find something awesome. A little moon pool to go through. Inventory secure. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Why, thank you, Charles. I'm gonna name him Charles, by the way. Why, thank you. So proper. Um, external flawed lights on. Yes! Let's begin. Let's dive. Engine off. Oh, okay. Um... Right, right, right. Engine powering up. Oh my god, that is so cool. Yes! Oh, this sub is so awesome. Let's go ahead and turn ahead this. Slow. Yep, ahead slow. Don't want to make too much noise. Or ahead medium. Ahead standard. Ahead standard. Uh, wow, Boy, these lights. Captain. Seriously? We're cavitating already? No. Oh, wait. Oh, you can turn it off with right mouse clicker. That's awesome. Uh, actually, we want to go to camera view. Which camera is this? Is this the front of the ship? This is the front of the ship. Okay, this is the bottom of the ship. This is what we're going to use to navigate. Here we go. Ahead normal. So basically, the idea is that there is a moon pool over here that we can use. And that... That looks to be about where we want to go. Over with this area. Alrighty then. Everything looking good and well. I would imagine it's somewhere around here in these metal structures. So, we might just go to the sea moth and begin exploring with that directly. As long as there's nothing horrible in here. Is that it down there? That kind of looks directly it for me. Alright. Time to go to the sea moth. Let's explore further, everybody. Uh, also, I could use some food. Let's go ahead and munch on a couple marble melons here. Nom nom. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Oh, sorry, there we go. Alright, sea moth, here we go. Fully charged. Drop us. Drop us, Charles. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I still don't have a name for you. So here we are. We need to find a moon pool. That looks like an area to go to a moon pool. Let's see here. We don't want to stay too long in this hellish abyss, but this right here, this right here looks pretty direct. What the hell was that? Oh, it's just a warper. Ha! Cute. So you appear- Oh, you're a teleporter gate! Oh, good to know. Good to know. How do we get you guys back online, by the way? Can I scan you? Should I scan you? I think? Nope. Just kidding. I knew that already. Testing you guys. You guys passed. Good job. Ah, oh, there we go. I see the moon pool. That's the moon pool, right? The giant open hole in the side of an alien facility? Pretty sure this is it. We've been here before, but we came here too early. So, here we go. Nice. Alright, we made it inside. Also, I hate, I hate to keep doing this, but look. Uh, as you can see, the crush dip was, uh, what was it, 200? We actually have to take, what? What the hell was that? I think that was just a glitch. 
That was just a glitch, okay. I've, I've been playing too much Outlast, clearly. Too much Outlast. Oh, whoops, I actually did not turn on our timer. I do have a little timer set beside- Whoa, floating statue! I mean, floating shadow! I do have a little timer going on here. So that way I do know how long the episodes last. So that way, I do not accidentally make a 35 minute long episode, because I would totally do that! Alright, let's explore. We got full food, almost full water. We're not gonna die of dehydration just because we're here this time around. We can actually take our time. Explore. Figure out what the hell kind of mess we got into. Uh, let's go up. Seems like there was another way we could go, oh, but right now we're gonna go up. Oh, I see a purple glow. Yes, please! Yes, please, we'll have another one you, thank you. We definitely needed to replace the one that we had already had. We'll leave through the moon pool so we can keep it too. Let's see here. I've always wondered if sprinting and stuff takes more food. Oh, oh. Is that another, another particle wall? It totally is, isn't it? We would need this thing anyways. Damn, well, I was hoping to keep it. But I would much rather... Yes, behind the doorway, exactly. So, nothing, can't scan the force field. What about you? Are you purple? You're purple! Alright, we have you. We just got you. There. Accept my artifact! Nice. Nice. Alright. Here we go. What is going on with... Uh, should I be able to scan stuff? Ooh, this here looks important, everybody. This here looks real important. Oh, it's even got things that like move down and oh, yeah, no, bad. I'm gonna scan your energy core first. What's up? Hit me with it. What is this? What is the thing I'm looking at? Massive energy readings. Of the structure indicate it is the main reactor powering the facility. Just that little thing, huh? This whole gun? Wow, well, I don't want to touch that then. So I've seen what this does to me. I'm not entirely thrilled with the idea of it, but let's go ahead and progress the story. Disable the facility! We need to stop the gun from shooting people down that come to help us. So let's go ahead and do that. I just push this button and that's all that happens, right? Right? I push this button, everything's fine. Oh! It caught my hand! And then we have a weird tentacle mechanical snake. And it stabs me! There was easier ways to take my blood, dude. The Warning. Panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, okay. Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. Infected- the is under quarantine. Infected with what? That's what we gotta find out. That is what we have to find out. That's some crap. So now, I can't actually- of a second facility Ooh. elsewhere on the planet. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good to know. Although I didn't bring a thing to allow me to record this place where it is. So interesting. It actually tells you where you are. All right, well, I guess we have our next goal now, don't we? Already, we know what we want to do. Oh, wait, what? Disease Research Facility. This device contains functional information regarding a second alien facility on the planet. The facility was built at a depth of 700 meters, approximately one kilometer southwest of the surface facility. Disease Research Facility. Only seven personnel. Function. Live specimen study. Objective. Synthesize the antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated Karar. So that's what we're infected with. Infection of living specimens with bacteria. Observation of immune responses. Surviving specimens sent to primary facility for further analysis. Precautions. Remote containment and research sites to reduce risk of contagion. Off-site thermal power generator. Oh, that, that we've already learned about that. Ground to air uh, quarantine enforcement platform in case of security breach. Well, I think that's pretty much what we're standing in right now. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. Well, well, would you look at that. That's pretty much exactly what happened to us. We, oh, what the hell was that? Anyways, we, uh, we got ourselves infected. Well, you know, it's not even our fault. It said, in the event of a containment breach. Well, guess what? The containment was breached. 
Good job. Oh, here we go. Another teleporter platform. How do I activate you guys? Are, is that in the game yet? Maybe not. Can't scan anything here. Anyways, yeah, it's not our fault. Your, your security protocols broke. You guys suck. You guys didn't even manage to hold the bacteria down. Come on. What the hell? All right, we made it back out though, so that's good. Next goal, make uh, upgrades for the Cyclops. And also, we're gonna go ahead and go home. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna make some upgrades for the Cyclops. And then we are also gonna go ahead and, oh, is it daytime? It's daytime, hey. Yeah, we're gonna make some upgrades for the Cyclops. And then we are also, here we are, gonna go ahead and get all the supplies for a prawn suit. That's what we're working towards at the moment. All right, so I'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and meet you guys back at the main ba volcano base. And we're gonna go ahead and start the process. Hold on, mushroom, biome, thermal vent, blood kelp. Uh, oh, wait, oh yeah, thermal vent, that's where we're at. All righty, I'll see you guys back at base, everybody. Alrighty, and we have made it back to base, everybody. As you can see, there's still that visual glitch there, but that's A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and power down the engines. Engine powering down. And it does seem like that whole journey only took 8% of our CP of our power sources. Also, we were being attacked by some wild animals, but it looks like this the sub suffered no damage, which is A-OK -okay by me. I prefer it that way. Let's go ahead and switch container. You, yep, more mobile food for us. It's awesome. We need to now go ahead and start upping the sub. Upping how powerful our sub is. So, we get four upgrades. I imagine... Oh, you know what? That's why. We have four efficiency modules. That is why we are so good at uh, going from point A to point B. Gotcha. Shield generator creates a temporary barrier around the sub, rendering invulnerable. Advanced wiring crit, a power cell, and a uranite crystal. Oh, wow. Okay, that's some heavy-hitting stuff. We, I think we only have enough for two crystals at the moment. So, poly polynyline and magnetite. Okay. Fire suppression system. I do have a mercury ore, but no sulfur. Where the hell do you get sulfur? Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. Wiring crit and copper right. Okay, well, see, so that, that's easy enough. We can go ahead and go and get that. After that, polynyline. Let's go ahead and figure out what that is. I'm pretty sure we have a fabricator in here. What? I, I would have. It's it under advanced materials. Aerogel, synthetic phyllase, benzene, hydrochloric acid, polynyline. Polyanyline? I had no idea how to pronounce that. I'm just going to call it the poly thing. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric deep shroom salt deposit. Well, well, well. Would you lucky there? We happen to grow a bunch of deep shrooms right here because we are already on top of that. So, and we do have magnetite to my knowledge. So we only need two of that uh, conductive material. Is that kind of like, is it, I feel like they're acting like that's gold dissolved in nitric acid. Um, like the, uh, what is it? Aqua regalia? I'm pretty sure that they're kind of acting similarly. Oh, go away, go, go away, go away. I don't have to deal with you. I, I am man. I will. I am the. I am the best at surviving. I am the greatest that there is. Go away, stalker. Yeah, I will freaking murder you. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what you get. You tried. You try to come at me. That's what happens. You get. You come at me. You get messed up. Are you just gonna twitch forever? Oh, don't twitch inside so I can see you. That's just weird. All right. So it took. Gold, and I don't remember how much, so one, two, three, four, I think it was two each, or it might have been three, yeah, I don't remember, to be honest, hmm, gold and hydrochloric acids was took, it only took two of them, so let's go ahead, what the hell, oh, the stalker was slash, okay, hold, hold on, everyone, stalker decided to make something of himself in his dying moments yep 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 draining systems initiated well i don't know why you were flooding in the first place it's a tiny little shark monster it doesn't really do a whole lot anyways all right here we go why well, come on over here i come talk to, oh talk to you i need salt that's right i need salt I'm taking the chlorine out of the hydro uh the chlorine out of the salt to make hydrochloric acid clubber and yeah we'll grab the water out of there too you need to start making some water again 
Alrighty, here we are. Let's make some hydrochloric acid. Yeah. Deep stream times three and assault. Oh crap. Okay, so I need to go get two more. I like the container though. Do not put hydrochloric acid on your hand. Thank you. It's like, well, really? Oh, it is wiggling through there. Ah, oh, it's gonna give me a headache. Welcome aboard, Captain. I actually left. Sorry. So one, two. See, this is why we have a farm. I don't have to go all the way down there to that deep kelp biome stuff. I can just pull out of my own house. See, this is why we do what we do. And we need one more gold, I'm fairly certain. Let's come over here. Grab another gold. Nope, that's a copper. And then we got gold. I thought... Why do I only have one? Oh, I already used the salt. Duh, I already used the salt deposit. Come on, Convistador. Use that brain meat of yours. And then, Paul, yep, this thing. We grab two of these. That's a cool looking material. Highly conductive polymer. Yeah, it's a very highly conductive liquid. All right, and then we come over here. Is it you? Magnet. Ah! Ah! Why do we only have two? We only have two! Pure evil. Okay, all right. We're gonna have to go out for that. There's some other stuff that it could build. Um, real quick, I guess what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go ahead and go farm for some materials. That's what we're gonna go ahead and do. This is gonna be a pretty basic episode. I'm gonna go ahead and go farm for some materials, and we'll probably... Uh, upgrade and deck it out. See what we need to do with the Cyclops to make it usable because I think also, did they do away with the Cyclops Super Depth Enhancer module? Because, if I remember correctly, you actually had to upgrade the Cyclops to be able to go deeper. Like, a lot. You had to upgrade it. It was a very heavy upgrade. Thank you. All systems online. Awesome, thank you. They are, and you're doing a great job, computer. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's, like... Wait, actually, can't I just see at the front? Well, we're here, so we might as well check. Sonar upgrade, power efficiency. Yeah, they don't have anything about uh, depth module. That's scary. Do I need it? How deep can you go? Yeah, you can only go 500 meters. Bruh. This doesn't help us at all. Do I need to just do it in a regular fabricator? How do I get you to go deep? Personnel, no. Is it in here? No, it, oh, is it in a modification station? Mobile vehicle bay, yeah, none of you. Obviously not a tool. Equipment, purifiable artifact, yeah, not in here either to my knowledge. Huh, okay. Oh, it's not in food, it's not in resources. How do we get the Cyclops to go deeper? Yeah, 500 meters is not going to cut it, buddy. We need to get you going down into the thousands of meters. Okay, let's look inside. This is this is bad, guys. This is bad. We need to be able to do this stuff with the Cyclops. Also, we need to make a prawn suit. That's the only thing I'd feel comfortable bringing down there. Um, obviously, little tiny, like, little tiny friendly sea moth is not going to make it. Hey, so let's come in here. Modification station. See, no, Seamoth upgrades is not going to do it. Propulsion cannon, swim charges. Is this something I have to find? A depth module. Oh, no, it's fine. Check that out. Of course. I'm fine. It's good. Don't worry about it. Um, wow, guys. I am a little bit lost on this. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What about over here? I could have sworn... Yeah, I had a power efficiency module. Okay, I will figure that out, and instead, instead, I will begin the process for farming, um, for a prawn suit. Because I know that that's probably the next thing up on the line, is the prawn suit. And after I'm done filming this episode, I will go ahead and, uh, figure out online how to get the, that guy to go super deep. You didn't kill all my mushrooms, didn't, did you? Like... You, asshole? Okay, good. They were just not rendering. It's like, oh boy. If I have to go get more deep mushrooms, I'm gonna be pissed off. If I remember correctly, it's not super hard to get the mushrooms. I mean, not the mushrooms, the prawn suit. Vehicle bay, vehicles, prawn suit. 
Uh, we have both of those. Plate steel ingot. That's a little bit annoying to get, but not too bad. Aerogel. What the hell is aerogel? And lubricant. So out of all of that, sounds like aerogel is the thing that we're missing. What the hell is aerogel? Is that the thing with the gel sack? From a long time ago? I've only found one gel sack. What the heck, everybody? And then there's the upgrade for that. Oh my god. This episode might be entirely devoted to figuring out what the hell I need to make. It's in it under advanced resources. Gel sack and aluminum oxide. Oh my goodness, guys. They made it harder to build. Where's my gel sack? I'll at least make one. Diamond, salt. I thought I had mercury as well. We do have straight uranium. Oh well. What the heck, everybody? We have all the lithium in the universe and, and mercury. I mean, a mercury, but what the heck? What the heck? Okay. Yeah, we had three aluminum oxides, and I could have sworn we had more materials. Did I just use up everything? Where the hell did I put the gel sack? I'm so confused. I'm so confused and hurt deep inside. I'm probably actually going to have to end the episode there. I mean, honestly, I know that I didn't get a lot done, per se, but I just don't know what to do from here. I have to do a little bit of research on what to do. There we go. Just max ourselves up for whenever we leave. Yeah, I am going to have to end it here. That's crazy. We got the alien facility all figured out. We figured out what our next step in the process is. But other than that, you know, I didn't really... Interesting. Alrighty. Well, then again, thank you guys, everybody, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know. If you want to show your support to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe. And uh, if you want to know when I live stream, hit that notification bell. And I will see you all in the next episode of Subnautica.